Ladies and gentlemen, 10 minutes a day helps keep the motorcycle accidents away. Listen to this DMV audio handbook. Become a professional motorcycle driver. Get your license. Learn straight from the professionals. If you want to skip certain pages, see video number one. It has a table of contents. In this, we're starting on page 23, talking about intersections. Increase the chances of being seen at intersections. Ride with your headlights on and in a lane position that provides the best view of oncoming traffic. Maintain enough space around your motorcycle that permits you to take evasive action. As you approach an intersection, select a lane position that increases your visibility to the driver. Cover the clutch and both brake brakes to reduce reaction time. Reduce your speed as you approach an intersection. After entering the intersection, move away from vehicles preparing to turn. Do not change speed or position radically. The driver might think you are preparing to turn. Blind Intersections When you approach a blind intersection, move to the lane position that brings you into another driver's field of vision at the earliest possible moment. In this picture, here on your screen, in this picture, the motorcycle rider has moved to the left portion of the lane, away from the parked vehicle, so the driver on the cross street can see him or her as soon as possible. Notice this. He's moved over here. If you have a stop sign or stop line, stop there first. Then edge forward and stop again, just short of where the cross traffic lane meets your lane. From this position, lean your body forward and look around buildings, parked vehicles, or bushes to see if anything is coming. Make sure your front wheel stays out of cross lane of travel while you are looking. Passing parked vehicles. When passing parked vehicles, stay toward the left portion of the lane. This way you can avoid problems caused by doors opening, drivers getting out of their vehicles, or people stepping from between vehicles. In oncoming traffic, is present. It is usually best to remain in the center portion of the lane to maximize the space around you. A bigger problem can occur if a driver pulls away from the curb without checking for traffic from behind. Even if the driver looks, he or she may fail to see you. In either event, the driver might enter your path. Slow down or change lanes to make room for someone to enter. Notice the picture here in your screen. Vehicles marked making a sudden U-turn are the most dangerous. They may cut you off entirely, blocking the whole roadway and leaving you with no place to go. Since you cannot tell what a driver will do, slow down and get the driver's attention. Sound your horn and continue with caution. Parking at the roadside. Park in an angle of 45 to 90 degrees to the curb with a wheel or fender touching the curb. Here's a picture of how to park. Increasing visibility. In collisions with motorcyclists, drivers often say that they never saw the motorcycle. From ahead or behind, a motorcycle's outline is much smaller than a passenger vehicle. Also, it is hard to see something you are not looking for, and most drivers are not looking for motorcycles. More likely, they are looking through this skinny, two-wheeled silhouette in search of vehicles that may pose a problem to them. Even if a driver does see you coming, you are not necessarily safe. Smaller vehicles appear farther away and seem to be traveling slower than they actually are. It is common for drivers to pull out in front of a motorcyclist, thinking they have plenty of time. Too often, they are wrong. However, you can do many things to make it easy for others to recognize you and your motorcycle, like your clothing. Most collisions occur in broad daylight. Wear brightly colored or reflective clothing to increase your chances of being seen. Bright orange, red, yellow, or green jackets or vests are the best for being seen. Brightly colored helmets can also help others to see you. Reflective material on a vest on the sides of your helmet will help drivers see you from the side. Reflective material can also be big help for drivers coming toward you or from behind. Remember, your body is half the, half the visible surface area of a rider motorcycle unit. Headlight The best way to help others and see your motorcycle is to always keep your headlight and, if equipped, running lights on. A motorcycle with its lights on is twice as likely to be noticed. Using your, your high beam during the day and at night increases the chances that oncoming drivers will see you. Use your high beam when it is legal and safe to do so. When it is foggy, use the low beam. Turn Signals The turn signal on a motorcycle are similar to those on a vehicle. They tell others what you plan to do. Look on your screen for hand signals and how to do it. 
However, due to a rider's added vulnerability, turn signals are very are even more important. Use them any time you plan to change lanes or turn. Signal your left or right turn during and during the last hundred feet before reaching the turning point. At highway speeds, it is best to signal at least five seconds before changing lanes. Use your turn signals even when you think no one else is around. Your turn signals also make you easier to see. If bright sunlight makes your turn signals less hard to see, use hand signals. When you enter a freeway, drivers approaching from behind are more likely to see your turn signal blinking and make room for you. Here's a picture of merging onto a freeway. Use your turn signals before each turn reduces confusion and frustration for the traffic around you. Once you complete the turn, be sure to turn turn them off or a driver may pull directly into your path thinking you plan to turn again. Brake light. Your motorcycle's brake light is usually not as noticeable as a vehicle's, especially when the tail light is on. If the situation permits, help others notice you by flashing your brake light before you slow down. It is especially important to flash your brake lights before you slow for a tight, fast turn off a high, highway speed highway or when others may expect it in the middle of a block or in an alley. If you are being tailgated, it is a good idea to flash your brake lights before you slow. Using your mirrors. While it is most important to know what is happening ahead, you cannot ignore situations behind you. Traffic conditions change quickly. To make safe decisions about how to handle trouble ahead, you must know what's going on around you. Frequent mirror checks should be a part of your normal searching routine. Make a special point of using your mirrors. When you are stopped on an intersection, watch vehicles coming up from behind. If the driver is not paying attention, he could be on top of you before he sees you. Before you change lanes, make sure no one is about to pass you. Check the mirrors and turn your head to check over your shoulder on the side of the lane and and check where you want to move. Before you slow down, check your mirrors. The driver behind you may not expect you to slow down or may be unsure about where you will slow down. For example, you signal a turn to the driver thinks you plan to turn at a distant intersection rather than at a nearway driveway. Some motorcycles have rounded convex mirrors. These mirrors provide a wider view of the road behind you than more than flat mirrors. They also make vehicles seem farther away than they really are. If you are not used to convex mirrors, you can get familiar with them by picking out a parked vehicle in your mirror while you're stopped, forming a mental image of how far away it is, then turning around and looking to see how close you came, practicing with your mirror until you become a good judge of distance, allowing extra distance before you change lanes. Head Checks Checking your mirror is not enough. Motorcycles have blind spots. Just like other vehicles, before you change lanes, turn your head and check the lane for, other, for another vehicle. On a road with several lanes, check the far lane and the one next to you. A driver in the distant lane may drive into the same space you plan to take. Frequent head checks should be part of your normal scanning routine. Only by knowing what is happening all around you can you be fully prepared to deal with it. Take a look at this picture for your blind spot. See here, mirror goes here, but you have a blind spot here. Horn. Be ready to use your horn to get someone's attention quickly. In an emergency, press the horn button loud and long. Be ready to stop or swerve away from the danger. Remember, a motorcycle's horn is not as loud as other vehicles, so use it, but don't rely on it. Riding at night. At night, it is harder for you to, to see and to be seen. Wear reflective clothing when riding at night. Picking a motorcycle's headlight or taillight out of other lights is not easy for drivers to do. To make up for this, you should reduce your speed, ride even slower than you would during the day. Particularly on roads you do not know well, this increases your chances of avoiding a hazard. Increase distance. Distances are harder to judge at night than during the day. Your eyes rely upon shadows and light contrast to determine how far away an object is and how fast it is coming. These contrasts are missing or distorted at night. Open up a three-second or more following distance. Allow more distance to pass and to be passed. Use the vehicle ahead. The headlights of the vehicle ahead can give you a better view of the road than your high beam. Tail lights bouncing up and down can alert you of bumps on rough pavement. Use your high beam. 
Get all the light you can. Use your high beam whenever you are not following or approaching another vehicle. Be visible. Wear reflective clothing material when riding at night. Be flexible. Be flexible about lane position. Change to the lane position that helps you see, be seen, and keep an adequate space cushion. Collision Avoidance No matter how careful you are, there will be times when you find yourself in a tight spot. Your chances of getting out safely depend on your ability to react quickly and properly. Often a collision occurs because a motorcycle rider is not prepared or skilled in collision avoidance maneuvers. Two critical skills in avoiding a collision are knowing when and how to stop or swerve. You cannot always stop quickly to avoid an obstacle. You must always also be able to swerve around an obstacle. Most collisions involve riders who underbrake the front tire and overbreak the rear tire who do not separate braking from swerving or did not choose to swerve when it was appropriate. Quick Stops To stop quickly, apply both brakes at the same time. Do not be shy about using the front brake, but do not grab at it either. Squeeze the brake lever firmly with continuing steady pressure. If the front wheels locks, release the front brake immediately and then reapply it firmly, and at the same time press down on the rear brake. If you accidentally lock the rear brake, on a good traction surface, you can keep it locked until you have completely stopped. Note: Even with a locked rear wheel, you can control the motorcycle on a straight way if it is uprising and going in a straight line. Thank you so much. We've completed page 30. Next video, page 31. Safe driving on the road.